Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we take a look at geolocation. So geolocation is not necessarily a new function. It's been around in SketchUp for for a long time, decade plus. I don't actually know when it came in, but geolocation gives you the ability to download satellite imagery and data and put it in your model. So you can build on top of an accurate satellite image or even terrain that is appropriate for wherever it is you're designing. Uh, it's a cool function. It, like I said, it's been around for a while, but as of this recording right now, uh, in version 2022, there's been some changes to the UI and I wanted to show you exactly what they are and how it works. So let's hop in. Okay, so to add location, I'm gonna come up here to file. This is SketchUp Pro, this is the thing to point out. Uh, this is the UI for SketchUp Pro. I'm gonna come into file and I'm gonna to go to geolocation and I'm gonna hit add location. Add location is gonna pull up the add location screen. Uh, this probably looks, for the most part, very similar to what you've seen before. Uh, might have seen this in a previous version, but the UI has changed. So first things first, up at the top, I can still type in a specific location. So uh, we're no longer in Boulder, now in Westminster CO. So I type that in there and it's gonna take me and give me this map. So the first thing I have over here in the controls on the, on the right side, I have the ability to flip between satellite and street map data. I also have this check mark right here that says near map coverage. If I turn that on, area that has near map, which is pay for high, high resolution satellite imagery will be shown in blue. The red stuff, no data here. Blue stuff, data. So you'll find that these, these kind of clump together around uh, you know places where there's a lot of buildings and that kind of stuff. The, the stuff to really see or that high, high resolution is gonna be important. So if I look down here, let's pan down there's Dallas. Houston, uh, and then of course, like I said, where we're at right outside Denver. Uh, so that's what that check mark will let you see. Satellite versus street map, like I said, you can flip between that. Why would you want to import a street map? I don't know. I don't tell you how to do your job. You, you just do it however you like. If you want to just bring in some, some imagery like this and plop some buildings down, you can, go for it. Uh, I'm going to look at satellites for the rest of what I'm doing. Uh, once I'm in the spot where I figured out what I want to pull in, and I actually haven't, I'm just panning around for fun, uh, I might come in here and I may say select region. And I want to come in to select region, I'm going to have some new options. So this is, if you've been using this before, this is going to look different to you. So the first thing I have is a slider. So if I slide all the way down to the lowest resolution, so this is going to pull in the, the least amount of detail. I have multiple uh, providers I can get here. So Digital Globe is gonna be the least uh, high resolution. If I slide my slider up to about the middle, you see Digital Globe goes away, but I do have Bing as an option. So I can pull in Bing data if I wanna go for a medium resolution. If I slide it all the way to super high, I'm sorry, very high, then I gotta jump up to near map. And near map, is going to uh, give you the, this is the paid uh, resolution. So this is where I'm gonna have to actually pay for these titles, or tiles, excuse me, <laughs> titles, tiles, what's an extra T? And you can see it tells me over here the number of tiles it'll take to bring this in. I can preview the tiles, or actually I can say tile boundaries, that's the easier step. So you can see how many are in here and then what it's gonna cost to import that. Uh, if I don't want to go to paid, I can drop back to Bing, which means I'm going to have to drop to maybe high rather than very high. And then with Bing, uh, turn the tile boundary off, I can find the location I want to import. And then once I'm good, I can click the import button. That's going to download both the imagery from the satellite and the terrain data and allow me to, there I go, I see it in there. And then I can also, of course, go to geolocation and say show terrain and that's going to give me you know the actual terrain there as well so that's a look at the new user interface for geolocation if you've been using it before uh, you might just seamlessly go a little bit different uh, but if you're stuck on any of this stuff hopefully that helps you out so you can see exactly what's in there and know where the things are that you want to use to get your satellite imagery
If you liked that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the new geolocation UI? We'd love to hear your thoughts. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's trying something you want to see. Thank you.